Church family, it's no coincidence that in our nation, COVID-19 is supposed to peak in terms of taking its toll on our nation during Holy Week. This is the week that we celebrate what Christ did to meet us in our darkest time. At noon on Friday is when the sky got black. The sun refused to shine. And it's because God met humanity at their deepest need. This is our week to declare to our nation, as well as to our neighbors, what Christ has done to meet us during COVID-19. This is our time. And with that in mind, I want to challenge us as a congregation, every one of us, to invite someone to come to church with us this Sunday. No, we're not going to be here. In fact, Sunday, this will be as empty as it is right now. But we're going to still meet together for online worship. We've had an incredible time. We've had thousands of views of our Sunday service being seen all over the world. And we boost it right here in our own community so that our neighbors get to see it as well. But this week, I want to ask you to exercise some prayer, some creativity, and some initiative. Coming to church with you is going to be easier this Easter than any other Easter. Because we're going to, all they have to do is to click on the website or click on the YouTube or accept your invitation to a watch party on Facebook. Now, if you have Facebook, form a watch party and invite some friends and neighbors who may not know Christ. If you're not, you can copy the link to our website, lilburnforjesus.com, and you can share that with a friend through email or through a text. Or you can copy, once it's posted by noon this Sunday, you can copy the link to the YouTube of the service and of the message. No, let's make this Sunday the best Easter Sunday we've ever had, and let's break all previous Easter Sunday attendance records. Let's do it together. You know, people are more aware of their own mortality now than they ever have been. People are afraid to die. We don't want to just take advantage of that time in a negative way. But Christ came for moments like this. And I want to encourage you, church family, let's do this together. Let's make this Easter 2020 unforgettable. That we, it won't be the year that, well, we couldn't gather to worship. No, it's the year that we, we gathered more people to worship than we ever have before. Now, on behalf of your pastors, I want to just invite you to a few other events this week that are taking place online. One is going to be our Monday Thursday service, seven o'clock Thursday night. We're going to be sharing together. We're going to be having a communion in our own homes. We're going to be looking at the foot washing and at the command Jesus gave to love one another. All took place on Thursday. Now, we're also having a Good Friday service when we're going to be looking at the seven words of Christ from the cross. Your pastors will be uh, serving us in both Thursday night and Friday night, both at seven o'clock. But the key is this. It's available on Zoom. Now, Zoom is an app you can download to your handheld device or to your PC, your laptop, your tablet. Zoom, just like it sounds, Z-O-O-M. You can download it. It's free. And then the only other thing you need to do is call or email the church office and let us know you want to participate. Then we send you a personal code that will get you into the Zoom call. It's, it's as simple as it gets. And hopefully we'll have 50, 75, 100 or more of our people gathered together on Monday, Thursday, and Good Friday. In addition, Steve Phillips, our children's ministry director, is putting together Easter Jam. It's going to be made available on uh, Saturday and anytime on Sunday as well for you to use with your children. Now, I want to report uh, to us uh, some of the good news in our church family. As of today, there are no known cases of COVID-19. There are, however, 
several who have severe symptoms and we are in prayer for them. I want to also report that we've successfully called everyone in our church family. It's been a wonderful thing to do. And many have called uh, many that they weren't even assigned. But we praise God for the reports, for the love, the care, and the shepherding that's taking place even in this challenging season. Several in our church family have already been laid off from jobs, and we're in prayer for them to find new jobs and better jobs. As our country is under a pandemic, most of us are under orders to stay at home. God is leveraging this time for higher kingdom purposes. Our healing hotline has been, um, we've had several significant messages left for people in our community that we can pray for and we're praying for miracles. This is a challenging season, there's no doubt about it. But as a church family, there's more love, there's more serving, there's more looking out for each other, and I think there's more connecting going on now than we've ever had before. As I close this time, I just want to encourage you again. Let's make Easter 2020, not the Easter that didn't happen, but the best Easter we can remember. Let's take advantage of the opportunity to invite a neighbor, invite a friend, if you're on Facebook, to a watch party, share the YouTube link, share our church website, and as soon as you open the website, across the top is a red banner that you click and you immediately go to our, our church worship online. These are exciting days. God is at work among us. And though they are challenging, our God is up to the challenge. God bless you. In fact, I now want to just leave you with a blessing. Lilburn Alliance Church family, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace. I love you and I love being your pastor.